Hey guys, Adam here for CrossFit Closer with Conversations with Coach. Today we're on a little bit of a field trip. So all of us know, well at least most of us know I like to think, that if we want to get in shape, if we want to take our health seriously, that nutrition has really got to be something that we focus on. Um, and obviously we could go into a whole ton of detail about this, but we're going to focus on two main criteria for am I eating right for health. Uh, the first one being food quality or the types of things that I'm putting in my body. And the second one is going to be food quantity. How much am I eating? What proportions of different macronutrients am I eating? And when am I eating them? So today's video is going to be focused on food quality, food choices. So we're here at the grocery store and we're going to play a little game called food or not food. The rules of the game are as follow. We want to choose foods that are whole, natural, realistically that you would find in nature. So a couple things that we're going to look at when we're choosing these things and, and deciding whether they're food or not is number one, do they have a food label? As, uh, as Coach Glassman likes to say, if it's got a food label, it's not food. And then the second one being if there's ingredients on the list that I can't pronounce, probably not food either. So in most grocery stores, the first section you're going to walk into is the produce section. As you can see behind me, we got fruits, veggies, all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to start the game here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. That right there is an apple. Is there a food label on it? No, there doesn't need to be. It's an apple. It's obvious. Food? Yeah. Still here in the produce section. And behind me, we have a whole wall of green stuff. So let's go ahead and grab one of these, maybe. Uh, what do we got there? And we'll take a quick peek on there. What does it say? It says organic kale. Green stuff? Other ingredients? No. Food? Yep. As you're walking through the grocery store, there's lots of distractions, right? There's lots of fancy packaged stuff here and things that kind of look like food, but kind of maybe not be. So a good, a good tip for trying to make sure that we choose good whole foods, and a lot of us have probably heard this one, is stay to the outside of the grocery stores. Try to stay away from walking down the aisle. So here we are at the fish counter. As you can see behind me, a number of different types of fish. There's sole, and there's salmon, and there's trout, and there's halibut, and all that kind of stuff. And if you look at the labels on them, they say trout, salmon, cod, halibut, tilapia, fish, nothing else. Food? Yep. So I found this here. It's called Hungarian salami. Kind of looks like food. Kind of looks like meat. It's in a package. It's got a food label. We're going to spin that around and take a quick peek at it. Sorry, the shaky hands are there. I'm going to read a couple to you. Here we got uh, corn syrup solids, sugar, dextrose, lactic acid starter culture. Food. One of my personal favorites is this section here. We call it the bakery section, the bread section, whatever you want. This is one that I feel like there's some politics involved with. There's some some uh, some monetary interests in, involved in, in trying to educate us about the health benefits of grains and breads. I don't put a whole lot of weight in that stuff because here is a pack of whole wheat, which we have been told is healthier than white bread, whole wheat tortillas. I'm going to read you a couple ingredients from this one. We got uh, palm kernel oil, sugar, wheat gluten. What else we got? Calcium, oh my god, propionate, fumaric acid. None of those sounds like foods that I know of, so I'm going to go with a thumbs down on that one. The next section we come to when we walk around the outside of my local grocery store is the meat section. And as we walk around here, we see beef, we see ground meats, ground beef, sausages. Those are just one that uh, make sure you read the labels on because you're going to find some funny stuff in some of those. Pork, turkey, and chicken. Real food? Yep. Another section that I almost always visit at the grocery store is the frozen fruit section. This one's tricky because it's mixed in with a bunch of other desserts and the good old ice cream section. We use berries in our smoothies. I always tell people, hey, a smoothie is a great way to get all of your protein, carbs, and fat for a meal. Um, so we add some carbs uh, via frozen fruit. And if you look at these guys, you know, some frozen raspberries, the ingredients are raspberries. That's it. 
tofu. Uh -huh. So I hope this has given you a little bit of insight into how to navigate around the grocery store, how to make maybe healthier food choices. Um, next time we'll be talking about food proportions and how to balance our macronutrients. Hope this was insightful. Take care.